Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sayers, back here from the Music Factory Studios. Today, I'm just gonna walk you through something that I thought might be interesting to some. Um, my console in my studio has been a Midas Legends for, oh, quite a few years now, and it's finally died. So, we've always done live sound as well, and I thought, you know what? I always like the sound of this console. It's a Soundcraft MH2. It's been used on the road, but not like touring. It was just our little sound company's soundboard for live gigs for a few years. Everything still works on this board, and it's uh, it's a pretty cool board. It's a little it's a little dusty, but it's been in storage here. And uh, thought I'd just show this to you what it is. Basically, basically you have for for what this console was at the time this is a great little console you've got gain 48 volts a uh, 20 db pad uh polarity invert you got a high pass filter from 30 to 400 then you have a four band sweepable parametric eq there's no q control but you have high shelf from oh 1.2 k to 20 k you have uh, high mids from 750 to 13K, and then low mids from 75 to 1.3K, and then a low shelf from 30 to 500. And, you know, it'll take me a few days to go through it and see what needs to be fixed. It hasn't been used in a couple years, but I hooked it up to power, plugged the mic in, everything worked. Sorry about the traffic. Um, our storage building is close to the highway here, but it's got direct outputs on every channel. It's got VCAs, so that's pretty handy. Uh, it's got groups. It's got a small EQ on the groups. It's like a 12K shelf, 1K for the mids, and a low filter at 80 hertz. And then it's got a four band EQ on the master, high, uh, 12K shelf, 2.5K high mid, 450 and 80. The uh, All of these mid bands are at 1.5 octaves but it's 48 channels and i thought that's more than enough i think i have everything we've ever used stored in this building but uh we've got eight subgroups which is a big help and it's great for tracking you know using a console for tracking is pretty cool uh you can take the direct out either pre-eq or post fader so you can come out of the gain or you can come all the way down to the fader. This console has proper solo on it as well, which is a big plus. Uh, it has proper solo like you would think in a DAW's terms of solo. So it has mute, mute groups. Um, it has a matrix for monitors, but that's something that would never really be used in the studio. You've got uh, 10 aux sends. One of them is one pair is stereo. The rest are all mono. And you know, it's a bad to the bone little console. We had this is an MH2. We had an MH4 as well at one time, and I sold it to another sound company because I thought, well, I'll never use that thing. And really, I wish I sold them this one and kept the MH4. But the MH4 was about five years older than this one. Um, this one's just been sitting in storage for quite a few years. It's got a little dusty, but not too bad. But uh, we should have it up and running, and when I do, I'll do a video on that. All right, guys and gals, we'll check you next time. Have a great day, y'all.